Hey everybody, welcome back. Talking about a news story that I've seen that involves an activist group called Just Stop Oil, which apparently operates in the UK. And I wanted to just touch on it and talk about it a little bit because this is about the stupidest thing that I've seen in a long while in the news. Dumbest thing I've seen all day anyways. And that's Just Stop Oil and the vandalism or attempted vandalism or pretend vandalism and I'll get into that more in a minute of a Van Gogh painting in a national gallery in England and you got these two spotty kids now, I call them kids because I'm old so to me 20 and 21 is kids and these are women and I know it's hard to tell but these are women and I'm sure I'll show you the pictures here absolutely posed for because this is done to get attention on Twitter and TikTok and they've thrown soup on the painting and then glued their hands to the wall in protest of fossil fuels being burned in the United Kingdom for power and heat <laughs> yeah um, and I, I, I allude to the idea that it's not really serious vandalism because they can't hurt the painting because it's encased in like shatterproof plexiglass so somebody had to come and wipe it down basically but they threw soup at it they threw soup and then they glued themselves to the wall and put on a show for TikTok and and twitter views is what happened here and they did the same thing at new scotland yard and it's vandalism and trespassing and you know minor charges nothing major because this is a like I think they said the value of that painting is 72.4 or 72.6 million pounds sterling which would be about 80 81 million dollars if they really damaged it they do real time so they crazy not stupid and I I'm just gonna get into the article here really quickly and this comes from CNET and it says a pair of activists from the campaign group Just Stop Oil were arrested Friday after they threw tomato soup on Vincent Van Gogh's iconic 1888 painting Sunflowers in London's National Gallery. The painting is unharmed, of course, the gallery said, but the frame suffered minor damage. It's been cleaned up and is back on display. The environmentalist activists each glued one of their hands to the wall under the painting immediately afterwards. What is worth more? And this is why they apparently attack art. This is the um, philosophy behind it is right here. What is worth more, art or life? Is it worth more than food, worth more than justice? Are you more concerned about the protection of a painting or the protection of our planet and people? I'll tell you right now, it's the protection of that painting, okay? One of the activists said afterward, The cost of living crisis is part of the cost of the oil crisis. Fuel is unaffordable to millions of cold, hungry families. They can't even afford to heat a tin of soup, which is the reasoning behind the soup. Here's a blurb on that. Throwing soup was a symbolic choice. Just Stop Oil spokesperson Mel Carrington told the Times saying that the soaring cost of energy in the UK has left some people unable to afford to heat up a can of soup. Human-made greenhouse gas emissions and climate change are primarily caused by the burning of fossil fuels for energy. So the soup is symbolic, the art is symbolic. It, what's worth more, art or life? Uh, legally speaking, it's art, okay? <laughs> but the throwing of the soup, I get it, but you're suggesting that people can't afford soup because of the high costs of burning fossil fuels. And I'm going to show you the picture of these two kids again. You see those two faces? You can't tell those two a damn thing. I've seen that look and that expression and just that persona way too often when I worked for the Juvenile Justice Authority. Repeat offenders, they keep ending up back in the system doing the same damn thing over and over and over again because you can't tell them a damn thing. That's that look right there. 
If you've never saw it before, that's what it looks like. You can't tell these people anything. You can't explain to them that if you think paying for the high cost of burning natural gas and coal and oil is expensive now, wait till they replace that system. How many hundreds of billions in tax dollars or pounds do you think it will cost for them to completely refurbish their energy production? What is their energy production? Let's take a look here. Electricity generation, just electricity. Fossil fuels. Most of the UK's electricity is produced by burning fossil fuels, mainly natural gas, 42% in 2016, and coal, 9% in 2016. That's actually kind of low for the coal, but that's 2016 numbers. Nuclear is only 21%, and I guess uh, renewable energy technologies, they don't tell you what the numbers are on that, unfortunately, but you get the idea. The majority of it is still burning of fossil fuels. For them to eliminate gas, coal, and oil burning would cost so much, I don't even know if a number could be put on it. And who's going to pay for that? You think you're paying a lot now? Wait till a system like that would be put in place. And you think they're just going to shut it off? You want to protest? Shut your own gas off. Go outside, take a, a pair of pliers, and shut that gas off. And then shut all the lights off too. Because odds are, Fossil fuels are fueling your lights. They're fueling the stations that you plug your phones in so that you can film your little ridiculous protests for Twitter and TikTok. Do that. Go live in, a, in, in the bushes somewhere if you want to protest that. And it's obviously completely, totally staged and done in a way that the activists won't really get into trouble because it's, oh my God, they threw soup at a Van Gogh painting. They can't touch that painting. They, do, they don't want to. And they don't want to resist arrest too much because they each glued a hand, which it won't take much for them to, to detach them from that wall. They probably pull their hand loose and the paint will come off. They're not really making a true effort. They're just making it look like they're making an effort. We're not talking Rosa Parks here, which also, by the way, was planned for. Rosa Parks got on the bus knowing that she was going to refuse to move because it was a setup. But at least that made sense because it was an injustice. They were sitting there and saying, okay, you know what? How come that person can sit there and I can't? It was an injustice. So I get that. This doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> uh, and you could argue, well, why don't they block the roads? Why don't they block subway um, access and things like that. That's why they're doing this because they did used to do that and they used to get roughed up for it by people trying to get by. They try to block the subway entrance. People that are trying to get to work got pissed off, roughed them up, threw them out. <laughs> the police didn't even have to get involved. They got tired of getting pushed around. So rather than continue to stand up for their convictions, they decided to do something easier that got more attention. And is London going to buckle? How can they? How can they afford it? How can they afford it? I, I, I dare say, anyone watching from the UK, tell people how much you really pay in taxes. How, tell people how bad it really is. They have no idea while they're crying for social medicine. How much taxes goes into your so-called social medicine and how bad is that medical care? I've seen it. Most people haven't or Canada, or anywhere else where they do that. Tell people how bad it really is. If you're watching, put it in the comments section. Because everybody in, the, in America, I know most of the people watching a show like this, um, don't feel that way. But a lot of people, they don't get it. When they're like, oh, you know, if we just had free health care, it isn't free, believe me. You will pay for it. We will all pay for it. And it will get worse and worse. The more the government's involved, the worse something gets. When they stick their dirty finger in your pie, it contaminates the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, thoughts? I just thought that was really a, a bizarre story. And the, the, the look on those two uh, kids frustrated me because it brought me all the way back to my uh, juvenile justice days. <laughs> anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Um, if you are new to the channel and you're wondering what the hell is up with the cats, 
They are strays that my wife and I take care of and pictures of them actually help with the loading algorithm on YouTube. And if you wanted to see more of the cats, I'm experimenting with a separate channel called Stray Cat Sanctuary. And there's a link for that down below if you wanted to check that out. Also, I'm mirroring on Rumble and on Rumble it's Coffee Talk 2. I've started mirroring to Rumble by request, by many, many requests, uh, the last time I got suspended especially. <laughs> for talking just like this. Am I really that terrible? If you wanted to help the channel out, or the cats for that matter, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps and we sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say but stay tuned, folks, because there is more to come.